had no choice. They arrived right before you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Oh. Oh. You and I go back a ways, Jeremy, but for the audience's sake, I'm going to play it like we're talking for the first time. Um, yeah, well, yeah well, we certainly do go back quite a way. Um, you know, this is good to get an interview because Boba Fett doesn't speak very much. No, so I know. This is, this is cool. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it is interesting because you, you had actually pointed out to me that you had 11 lines in the film, but uh, you're a wristwatch, an action figure, you're all these, you know, you've been licensed repeatedly, as it were. Yes. No, I think, I think it's probably, uh, to say 11 lines, that's too many. I, I think I had about five. But uh, it, it is incredible that to the amount of, when, when people have said to me, Mr. Bullock, what do you think? about your career what, what, where do you feel you are now <clears throat> I said well now that I'm a Lego um, uh, an American stamp and um, several other toys I, I don't wish for anything else I said it's incredible to be to be copied in plastic I think Lego is going to really appreciate you mentioning them out of the gate first I think yeah I should perhaps probably I shouldn't uh, it's, if it's BBC you shouldn't advertise we're not allowed to so I should have <laughs> said I should have said that can I ask you quickly, uh, you know, in, we recently lost the director of Empire Strikes Back, Irving Kirshner, yeah, who was a yeah. fantastic guy. Do you, have a, yeah. do you have a good Irving Kirshner story for our audience in closing? No, I, <clears throat> I think the, my one story with Kirsch was when we were filming and he would direct you, because whether it was because you're a, a masked character and he thought he, can't, he probably can't see the directions I'm giving him, off comes the helmet and he said, right, Jeremy, what I want you to do is walk along slowly, just turn, move, maybe a look for a second, and then you follow Darth Vader. So you, you, you got this direction. And it was lovely, and then you did it absolutely, exactly as he did it. Uh, bar, as I mentioned before, bar you putting yourself in. And he'd say, he'd look at you for a while and say, hmm, yeah, that's fine. But his, mm, that's fine, was, hang on a second, I didn't do that. I didn't show Jeremy that. He's put, he's put something in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, you know, it, it was huge fun. And, and to be in something, to be able to direct that so well, and to be in something that is so complicated, because there's got to be special effects put in, and the days are long, and you've got to shift on and move on with it. But he was, he was a delight to work with. Uh, I got another question for you regarding a sort of a side note. When we had dinner not too long ago at the Omni Hotel, one of the actors from Star Wars approached us and was talking for a little bit. He played one of the Jawas, right? And um, yeah, who was he? What was his name? Um, Jeremy? You... Um, not not was it Mike Edmonds? It might have been Mike. Little Edmonds. little one of the little guys. You know, but it was interesting because he was so. Um, uh, you know, he was a couple of glasses wine, a cla glasses of wine into it, as most of us were. But he was so. Uh, uh, proud of the fact that he had just had secured an agent. Uh, but what, what I noticed in the conversation was how you and so many of the other actors from the franchise do get together at these events and get along. Which yeah, I think the thing is, you, you know, I think we all realized that it was an amazing time. Who knew? No one knew that Star Wars was going to be so big. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, hill, hall. Master. Go to no quarter, killallmasters.com. Read it all.